Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to divide whole numbers by fractions, fractions by whole numbers, and then fractions by fractions. Let's start with dividing whole numbers by fractions. Now when working with fractions and division, we need to remember three steps. Keep, switch, flip. We can also think multiply by the reciprocal. When we flip a fraction, that's called the reciprocal. So this means we're going to use multiplication to solve these. This actually makes the process simpler. Now how and why this works is a topic for another video. I'll drop that link down in the description. Let's jump into number one where we have two divided by one fourth. Now we can think of this as how many one fourths are in two or how many one fourths can we make out of two? We are dividing two by one fourth. Let's rewrite our problem using keep, switch, flip, also known as multiplying by the reciprocal. So we start with keep. We always keep the first number or fraction. In the case of number one, we have a whole two. So we need to keep that as two, but we're going to rewrite it as a fraction. Whenever you rewrite a whole number and put it in fractional form, all you need to do is put it over one. Now the purpose of this, we want to have a numerator and a denominator. So we kept the value of two there, we just put it in fractional form. Then we switch from division to multiplication. And since we switched to the inverse or opposite of division, we're going to need to flip the second number or fraction. In the case of number one here, we have a fraction. So the denominator is now going to be the numerator and the numerator is now going to be the denominator. So we have four over one. Once we get to this point, we have a multiplying fractions problem, which we just multiply straight across when we multiply fractions. So two times four is eight and one times one is one. So we get to the answer of eight over one, which is an improper fraction. So we do not want to leave it like that. This is going to be eight. Our final answer is eight. Two divided by one fourth equals eight. Let's move on to number two, where we have seven divided by two fifths. So we are finding out how many two fifths are in seven, so to speak. So keep, switch, flip. We will keep our seven, but put it in fractional form by putting it over one, switch to multiplication, and then flip our second number or fraction. Now we can multiply straight across. Seven times five is 35, and one times two equals two. So our answer is 35 over two. Now we don't want to leave it improper. We want to convert this to a mixed number. So we do 35 divided by two. How many whole groups of two are in 35? Well, 17. So that's our whole number of our mixed number. Now we didn't hit 35 exactly. We had a remainder of one. So that's our numerator of the fractional part. And then we keep our denominator of two the same. So 17 and a half. Always look to see if you can simplify the fractional part. One half is in simplest form. So we are done. Our final answer, 17 and a half. So that's how we divide a whole number by a fraction. Let's move on to dividing fractions by whole numbers. So here are our examples for dividing fractions by whole numbers. Let's jump into number one where we have one half divided by three. So we are taking one half and dividing it into three equal groups or parts. Let's rewrite the problem using keep switch flip in order to solve this. So always keep the first fraction or number. So let's rewrite the problem. So one half we are going to keep. Then we switch to the opposite or inverse of division, which is multiplication. 
And since we switched to multiplication, we need to flip the second number or fraction. In the case of number one, we have a whole three here. So how do we flip this? Well, let's put that whole number over one. That way we have a numerator and a denominator. That does not change the value of the problem. That still has a value of three. So now we can flip. So the one is going to go um, up to the top and be our numerator and the three is going to be the denominator. So we flipped that second number. Once we get to this point, we have a multiplying fractions problem. So we can multiply straight across. One times one is one, and two times three is six. So one sixth is our final answer. Always check to see if you can simplify. One sixth is in simplest form, so we are done. One half divided by three equals one sixth. Let's move on to number two, where we have four sevenths divided by six. Keep, switch, flip. So let's rewrite the problem. Keep four sevenths, switch to multiplication, and then we need to flip. So we can write that six in fractional form, and now we can flip. So the one is now our numerator and the six is now our denominator. And we can multiply straight across. Four times one is four. Seven times six is 42. So we get four over 42, which can be simplified. Four and 42 have a greatest common factor of two. So let's divide each of these by two, and we get two over 21 for our final simplified answer. And that's how we divide a fraction by a whole number. Lastly, we have fractions divided by fractions. So let's move on to that. Here are our two examples for dividing fractions by fractions. Let's jump into number one, where we have 3 fourths divided by 1 seventh. So we are seeing how many 1 sevenths we can make out of 3 fourths, or how many 1 sevenths are in 3 fourths, so to speak. So let's start by rewriting this problem using keep, switch, flip. So we always keep the first fraction or number. So we keep 3 fourths as is. We switch to the opposite or inverse of division, which is multiplication. And since we switch to the opposite or inverse of division, we're going to flip the second fraction. So the seven is going to be our numerator and the one is going to be our denominator. So we end up with seven over one. Once we get to this point, it's a multiplying fractions problem. So we can multiply straight across. Three times seven is 21. And then four times one is four. And we end up with 21 fourths. Now that's an improper fraction, so we do not want to leave it. We need to divide our numerator of 21 by four. How many whole groups of four are in 21? Well, five, that gets us to 20. So five whole groups of four, that's our whole number of the mixed number here. Now that doesn't hit 21 exactly. We have a remainder of one, so that's our numerator in our fractional part of the mixed number, and we keep our denominator of four the same. Always look to see if you can simplify the fractional part of a mixed number. One fourth is in simplest form, so we are done. 5 and 1 fourth is our answer for number 1. So 3 fourths divided by 1 seventh equals 5 and 1 fourth. Let's move on to number 2 where we have 2 thirds divided by 2 fifths. Keep, switch, flip. So keep 2 thirds here. Switch to multiplication and then flip that second fraction. So 5 over two, and now we can multiply straight across. 
2 times 5 is 10. 3 times 2 is 6. So we get 10 sixths. So that's an improper fraction. We need to convert to a mixed number. So 10 divided by 6. How many whole groups of 6 out of 10? Well, 1. And we get a remainder of 4. Keep our denominator of 6 the same. We can simplify 4 sixths. We have a common factor of 2. So let's divide each of these by 2 here. And we get 1 and 2 thirds. So our answer for number 2 is 1 and 2 thirds. 2 thirds divided by 2 fifths equals 1 and 2 thirds. So there you have it. There's how you divide whole numbers by fractions, fractions by whole numbers, and then fractions by fractions. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.